Hello, nice to meet you. My name's Erin and I'm a first time mum to a 14 month old named Vincent. And I thought I'd come on here and do a, a, like a, a review of a Love Every box. Uh, I first saw Love Every on, on YouTube when I was pregnant, but they weren't available in the UK then. They were just in America. And since then, they've had a big update and then they released the boxes in the UK and Europe. So the UK and Europe have the updated boxes. So I thought I'd come on here and just show the toys that you get in the current boxes. Because you might watch YouTube videos and they might not be the same toys. And I thought I'd just come and give a review. <laughs> I've never done this before, so I'm nervous. So I have the, um, I've had the nine to 10 month box now for six months. Um, so I'd come, it's, it's called the Explorer and it has a, so all the boxes come with a guide. Uh, this box was 80 pound. So the uh, zero to one, one year, 12 months boxes, they come every two months and they're 80 pound each, which seems a lot, <laughs> but you do get a lot uh, of toys and they're all really good quality. Like the, the plastics are, are strong. They're not flimsy and it's sort of, there's a lot of wooden uh, objects and they they use soy paint I believe so it's, it's non-toxic which is good because you don't know sometimes you buy things off of Amazon which I have done uh, in the past and I don't know what is paint what the paint is and then he's mouthing it and I'm it's a bit iffy where at least with these you know it's all safe he can put it in his mouth or she can put it in her mouth and it's not going to poison anyone <laughs> Yeah, so it's for those points, it's good. I can understand why it's expensive, but um, yeah, it comes with this little booklet which tells you uh, it gives you like a, a picture of all the toys and to when to introduce them to your child in that uh, two month period. So you have like this timeline, and then it, it tells you a few milestones for those months and then how to use the toys and gives you some ideas that you might not have thought about of how to use the toys. So um, just to as an example is uh, this one, which is the stacker. So obviously the child can do this with it, stack it, but then you can use the tube from the middle and provide a ball and you can uh, the child, well my son his favorite uh for like the whole month was just to have the tube and to put the ball through the tube and that was like a massive thing for him that's what he mainly used the, that toy for but then it says you can stick this to the wall like with some tape and then use it as a ball drop or um you can put it in the bath i think it says which is interesting i don't have a bath so i can't can't tell you any i can't give you any reviews on that one um yeah, I'll go through everything that comes with it. So, first thing, ooh, first things first, it comes with a book, and this one is How I Feel. It's just got pictures of children, different emotions, so you can talk to your child about these emotions, about ha being happy, about being mad. Uh, it's really important, I think it's important to understand emotions. He's very intrigued by this, so. Uh, when we first got it, he'd just sit and have a look at the faces, and it's nice that there's different there's different ethnicities in in the book, so you're not just always seeing white faces all the time. Especially we're from an area that is well, I'm originally from London, and um, I've moved to an area where it's predominantly white people, uh, so. It's a bit different. I grew up in a rather multicultural place, but now my son's not going to. So I think it's very important to have books with different ethnicities. Um, next thing, this little jingly key toy. I think this was a nine to ten month box. And I think this could have come a bit earlier as a toy. Just like a little rattly thing. I know it's meant to like stimulate keys. Like, it'd be a similar thing, but, but he was still far more interested in my keys than this. I think if he had got this when he was younger, and I know they say, oh, it's good for teething because it's quite cold and it's good to bite on. But um, I see he still was useful, but I think it could have been in a, in a box for a younger child. So 
yes this one jingly keys which i don't think was in when i've seen the youtube videos of the explorer originally i don't think this was in included but it's a good one to have i think if i had a, another child this would be perfect for when they're younger we you still use it for like kind of making noise in our music box thing um, right it did come with three box but they're on my they're on my shelf <laughs> so it came with three box so uh my son just bangs them together it's, it gives you dates about um time scales of when you would expect them to put them in it stack them and things uh, and some of those are beyond the time that it's for so i think it's i think it said it was like 18 months that you'd expect them to stack them up but for now he just likes to bang them about so it's not been the most it's not been the biggest the most popular but it's still nice to have and it's a nice texture and once again they're made with a soy paint so it's, if he puts them in his mouth it's safe and they're a good size they're quite big um the next this <laughs> is a is a silk scarf and it's for like playing peekaboo my my son really loves it he plays with it by himself sometimes and he just puts it in front of his face um if you were looking at one from like sarah silks for the same they're like 20 quid so i feel like it is a good price and it's a really good it's a good product and it's like a, a starter one because i wasn't sure whether we wanted to get silks so it's nice to have one and and that's the thing with with the love every box is you you might not know that your child is interested in that because they haven't experienced it before and now you have all these toys that you may not have uh, picked some of them you might have only thought oh i'll get that one and then you have all these other options and they like they prefer the other options to the ones that you thought they would like so that's good <laughs> um there's there was a a Montessori egg in a cup, which I know is um, a very popular Montessori toy. I don't know where the cup part is. It's really, it's nice. It feels nice. My son mainly spent time just feeling it in his hands and things. He d he can put it in the cup and he has done. But it's not really, he's not massively interested in that as a, a thing to do. But just to, as an sensory experience, it's quite nice. And he, it's too big to choke on. <laughs> This one has been his um, absolute favourite, so it's uh, surprising and just you, do, you just wouldn't know to buy these things. So um, they're they're all plastic containers. So this one is like a. And at first, I thought, oh god, these are really small. The the previous ones in the American boxes, but they've updated the American ones too. But the older boxes, they were quite big. I've seen like people do reviews and they've got quite big ones. These are quite small and I was thinking, oh, that's a shame that they've made them smaller. But these are perfect for his hand. It's, it's just my only concern is with them being nine to ten months old, it's quite hard to find something that's not a choking hazard to fit into them. I think the, the, the blocks fit in, but only just and it's quite hard. You need something a bit smaller to put in them. So we've, I've been using like these little blocks to put but then you still have to keep an eye on them. It's not something you can leave a child with. It's really good. Like this is, he still plays with them now. He's 14 months and he still likes messing about with them, putting things in, out, in, out. So you get this small one. You get this middle size one. <laughs> and they've got little holes at the bottom, like all different types of holes for if you wanted to use them in the bar. Or and then you have this finally this like this is the biggest one we haven't really looked at this one yet i don't think i've got this one out just because i don't think he'd be not ready for twisting yet so that's good because they'll last but yeah these are brilliant like these are the best things ever 100 percent would buy this box just for these containers <laughs> and the thing is you think oh you could just buy cheap containers which I was going to um, at one point before I got the box. I was thinking, oh, well, if I wanted to make a dupe of this, where did I get these cheap containers? And it was very hard to find, like, um, ones that were exact, which is, yes. And then, finally, 
we have this, which is this. I'll just get it. The stainless steel tip and turn with baby ball. And that's where the blue ball came from. Uh, the idea is like that they tip it and it makes a nice noise. My son has absolutely no interest in this. <laughs> I think this is like, if there was a dud that, uh, for the box, it's definitely this thing. It's like, it looks lovely and it looks really well made and everything. But yeah, he's no interest. He's never had an interest in it. Um, I don't know why. Just, yeah. It's, it's, I don't want to leave it on a low note, but, but this is just, so, yeah. <laughs> Do I think it's worth £80? Yes, definitely. I think what you get out of it and get all the information about how to play with them, uh, you get toys that you wouldn't expect them to be interested in and that last a long time like even now he still he loves these They're like the best thing with these rings these wooden rings if i turn this <laughs> to here um my partner and i used to put them on on, on he would come and get them off and he loved doing that that was like one of his favorite things for a long while when he was like just learning how to stand and we'd put them up and he'd take them down and we'd do it again and he liked putting them up so just something different than stacking them and he loved it when we first got them just twisting them on the floor and watching them spin around he was so for that they're really good and they make a nice noise when they fall too when you, if you spin them they make a really nice noise so yeah I think for £80, I think you do get a lot out of it. Like, there's so many things you can do with these and that they grow with the child and he still uses them. And if you do toy rotation, they're great. But obviously, some things aren't great. <laughs> uh, but you, I don't know, like, maybe your child might really like this. My, the, my last point, really, is to say that um, if you do resell them, like you think this is a dud and you don't want it anymore uh, when I've looked on Vinted or eBay or Facebook market they sell for really great prices so for that I'd say yes definitely definitely buy the uh, Love Every uh, Explorer box <laughs> thank you